pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey guys, Mr. Wellness here with another Wellness 101. As I mentioned before, the CDC is now recommending that we all wear cloth face masks while in public. Why masks, you ask? Simple cloth face coverings help slow the spread of viruses. Some viruses, like COVID-19, can be transmitted from person to person without ever showing symptoms. But masks will not protect me from you and you from me if we're not wearing them properly. Your cloth mask should include multiple layers to help filter contaminants, but just be sure to allow for breathing without restriction. It needs to fit snugly, but comfortably against the side of your face and cover your mouth and nose, and be secured with ties or ear loops. Remember, a mask is no good to you if your vulnerable areas are exposed. Be sure your hands are clean when you put it on. When removing your mask, remove it from the back to the front, be careful not to touch your nose, mouth, or eyes, and wash your hands immediately after. Consider hanging your mask someplace sunny as sunlight is a natural disinfectant. To clean and sterilize your mask, your old buddy Mr. Washing Machine should do the trick. Masks should be washed routinely depending on the frequency of use. Bonus tip! Glasses keep fogging up on you when you wear your mask? Then before you put your mask on, try cleaning them with soapy water. Shake off the excess water and soap and lightly pat them dry with a soft tissue. The soapy water leaves a thin film behind that should help keep your specks from fogging. Wear those masks in public, folks. And remember, my friends, wearing a mask does not make you immune to coronavirus COVID-19 or other illnesses. You still need to practice good hand hygiene and proper social distancing techniques to avoid illness. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Wellness 101.